With I know 2.0, Fried Hardeman uh, will be able to adapt with the changing technologies. And one of those changes is the, the iPad. This is what we're about to do our inkling pilot with. We decided that um, the iPad could uh, benefit us by using the electronic textbooks, uh, as well as in conjunction with using the MacBooks that we are currently using. As we're moving from iNo to iNo2, one of the main differences is uh, our mobile devices. We're moving from MacBooks and iPhones and iPods to just the iPad. We've done some pilots on the iPad and are very interested in what the iPad will offer our students, in particular portability, uh, battery life, the ability to have textbooks uh, on the iPad. We're doing a, a, a pilot this fall with Inkling in which uh, a group of students will have all their textbooks on the iPad. We feel like that will truly add to the student experience. I wanted to evaluate what we've been doing, what we learned from the original iNo initiative, and how we could adapt that uh, the new technology that is out um, and, and come up with iNo 2.0. I think it would be wonderful to have an iPad in the classroom. It would make it a lot simpler to be able to have all of your information on one thing instead of having five or six textbooks and you can have notes, PowerPoints, and the book all there and you don't have to worry about forgetting something because it's something you're going to need all the time. Uh, reading a textbook, even browsing the web, checking your email, it's much better than, a, than the smaller format of the iPod Touch or the iPhone. So we feel like this is a great mobile device for the future of FHU. iNo2 really enhances what was begun with iNo. In particular, we're incorporating this technology in a better fashion in the classroom. So I think we're making it uh, more relevant, more transparent to the student.